Now we are going to color our model. The simplest way we can do this for High Rise World Builder is with vertex coloring. We will explore UV mapping and texturing later. The first thing we want to do is install an add-on to help vertex color our models. This add-on is linked in the written guide for this lesson. To do this, go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, then make sure Community is selected. Now select Install, select the add-on zip file, then install add-on and check it enabled. In Object Mode, select our Cactus model, then use the menu in the top left, or press Control Tab to go into Vertex Paint Mode. On the top and left, we will see our Vertex Color Tools, if not press T to toggle the toolbar. We have our brush, color A, color B, the blend mode, the radius, and the strength. With our new add-in, we can use color A and color B to make a gradient. Select your colors, then press the N key to open the properties panel on the right. Then select the VCM panel. Here you will see our vertex painting tools. Go into the front view with numpad and one or the gizmo at the top right. Select linear gradient then start at the bottom of the cactus and click and drag to the top. Use the shift key to snap on the vertical. Repeat the process for the clay pot. Now with the pot selected, go into edit mode, then select just the dirt faces. Then return to vertex paint mode. At the top, select the face mask for painting widget to disable any faces not selected in edit mode. Then pick a color for your dirt and press shift and K to bucket fill the selection. Return to object mode, then in the top right select the shading drop-down menu, select flat lighting, and attribute coloring. Attribute color is synonymous with vertex color depending on your Blender version. Now we have colored our first World Builder 3D asset, 